episode on. Hello everyone, it's me again, Kaliopi, and today's topic is owning your little space in the internet world, your online art portfolio. 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 Port... Yeah. I want to quickly say thank you to Wix for sponsoring this video and let's get started. So if you want to create your own art portfolio now, make sure to click the link in the description and do it with Wix. Now we are on 2020 and no matter what type of artist you are, painter, photographer, you must have something to showcase to the world and let everyone see your work. So whenever you have to apply for a job request, you will be required to send a portfolio. And nope, Instagram doesn't count unless you have 1 million followers. Then of course you wouldn't be watching me. But of course, as any creative person, including me, you're probably broke and this is a good time to realize that you have to be your own marketing, your own photographer, your own manager, your own producer of products. I mean, a human being that can almost do everything. Including, of course, photography, editing, dealing with hardware issues, having skills and of course trying to guess what's going on in the market and trying to figure out what prices you have to put on your products and changing them every two minutes because of course you have no self-esteem and you think no one can buy this and why am i doing this and step one on creating your online portfolio is choosing your art and preparing the digital files it is very important in my opinion to choose the work you think is your best and most representative of your style and personality and that you actually loved doing since what you saw is most likely what you will be hired to similarly create take out all those paintings you have and even your books publications or anything that you have worked on and you are proud of lay everything out and what I did is pick the ones that speak to me when I see them, even if I have created them a long time ago. And if you have a specific category of art that you would like to be hired, for example, let's say you want to do children's book illustrations, and right now you don't have many artwork to show, you can give yourself some time, a week, a month, to work on a few illustrations and make your portfolio even bigger. It is okay to not like what you have created, I mean, I can create something yesterday and not like it today. But always don't forget to see the beauty in what you have made. And most artists are never done with their work, so don't be harsh on yourself. Be proud of what you have created and just keep on learning and getting better and better. Now it is time to think how you would like to showcase and photograph your art. Is it a nice minimal white space background? Maybe a more natural desk cozy feeling? Usually what I go for. See what other creators that you admire do and get inspired. Learn from observing them, not copying, and I'm sure you will find a way that fits you. Take your time, try different things, you can always change things up. For me, it is always so much nicer to have some objects around your painting. I usually love natural decorations like flowers or leaves and branches or stones. And of course, I always love to keep everything a little bit muted and let the painting be the centerpiece. Of course, your background options are so, so many. You can add a colored paper like I am doing here or even use your own desk. And remember that if you're not satisfied with something, there's always the next step, which is editing your files to finish up the representation of your artwork and make it exactly as you have imagined. You can of course use your camera to take those pictures like I'm usually doing. I have the same DSLR for seven years now, the one I'm also filming my videos and I wouldn't recommend the specific one, that's why I'm not always like mentioning it. It is a really good one for photos, but not as good for videos, but you know, it does the job for me right now and and then you always have the option of your phone and most phones right now have amazing cameras so don't be pressured into thinking you don't have the hardware to be a great artist i am sure you probably have almost all the tools so it is up to you on how you use them and what you create and of course the last option is scanning your art which is amazing in case you want to create prints or have a very high quality resolution file for you to reprint and make even bigger size but there are a few extra steps to do when you're scanning your painting from scanning it to actually then editing it and correcting the colors and everything since 
right out of the scanner it usually is a little bit dull and it lacks contrast but if you're a bit more professional with your work i think having a scanner is really useful and they are not that expensive moving on the last step i usually do to prepare my digital files not only for my art portfolio but generally wherever I upload or showcase my work is slightly edit my photos. As I have mentioned like a thousand times before, I really love muted colors and earthy tones. So what I usually correct is my background color around the painting. I want it to be very subtle and let the painting pop. So I will usually come and lower the saturation or brighten up a bit the picture and bring back some contrast. And you can see the huge difference, especially when I'm using my desk for background. I mean, look this before and after. I think that little corrections like this make a picture so much more professional looking. And I'm always trying to be careful and match the picture of the painting with the actual real painting. Now, if you're a digital artist, then you can skip all these because you have already high quality digital files of your paintings. And all you have to do is just grab them, add them in a folder and organize them and get them ready for your art portfolio. After all this planning and organizing, I think it's about time we actually start creating, so click the link in the description box to take you right there right away. The cool thing about getting started with Wix is you don't have to know anything about coding. The platform has its own editor that includes any features you may need to create your own website. There are ready templates that you can use to guide you and give you some ideas and inspiration on the overall look and feel of your site. And you can search them by categories or style or what type of artist you are. There are so many beautiful ones and I love that they have the classical look options but also they have added some modern, more graphic style templates that would fit a little bit more and better for a modern artist. But in the end, as you will see from mine, it doesn't really matter what you choose because you can edit and change everything and make it look completely different. And to be honest, if you're a person that knows how to edit photos or uses other editing programs, this is very straightforward. First thing that I need to do is think about my color palette. For me, it is so important to have a color palette because after all, they will play a huge role in the look of your site, the mood, the feeling and it also has to complement your artwork and your style and personality. So I was so amazed by their color palette system. I thought I needed to just go, you know, Google color palettes and find something that will fit me, but they actually have their own color palette system and you can scroll and browse around them and find one that speaks to you. And I found these muted greens and browns and skin tones that I fell in love immediately and I was like, okay, I'm choosing this. This is the way we go and now let's start playing. And it is so nice to have someone auto-saving your work or have an undo button or redo and just go back so easily and change things up again until you are satisfied. Now trying to design my homepage, this template already had a gallery item and when you click to manage media, it will let you add your own images, so add media, image and then click on all your image files and basically upload everything you want to add on your website since if your files are high resolution it will take a bit more time to upload them so this can be a one-time task, you let it there upload everything and then you keep going with editing your site. Also what I really appreciated was the fact that you can actually add folders and organize your files. Since I'm a person that has like three to four different styles of art, it was so much easier for me to just go and name a folder, drop them inside and know how to easily find them. Now that I have my own artwork up on the side, I can actually see if the background works with them, if the gallery type the template already had is something I want to keep or not. And it wasn't really what I wanted, so first of all I went ahead and clicked on the stretch icon so I can expand my gallery on the full screen or full width and now it will cover the whole space of my site which I knew from the beginning I wanted something really big that it will showcase my full artwork and because it was my homepage I didn't want to have many rows I wanted it to be very straightforward a page that will let you know my style and my skills 
and just show my best moments. So on the gallery settings, you can actually change the layout of your gallery and the way it shows your art. And there I found the column option, which was my final decision. Now remember that any item you add on your site usually has all those settings and edit options like these little hover animations for your gallery so whenever your mouse point goes up on the art it will make it zoom in a little bit or zoom out also i made sure on my settings to choose nothing happens when you click on my images because this was my home page i didn't want you to be able to click on anything it was just there for you to see my work and art now that i got a taste for the whole site it was time to start adding my titles and menu options so right there on the left on the top left bubble you have the site menu and there you can add pages or remove them by deleting them rename your pages or even create sub pages which means it will be a page that will appear as an option when you click the bigger menu page so let's say on your home page you have a gallery option but when someone clicks it then options like different categories will be appeared like watercolor or diesel art so you can have everything organized and in different places and since the menu will be something that will appear on your whole site on all pages alongside your title and logo of course there are settings for it too so you can change it appearance and how it looks and everything that contains text you can also individually edit the text text color font and basically everything that you might need now on the plus icon on your left which is basically the list of all the things you can add on your website there are so many helpful options for creators like this video list that lets you add your youtube videos and showcase them in your website all you have to do is copy the link of your video paste it and then add video and just like that you have a list of your favorite content and your website users can see them right away of course there are also settings and options for this tool like removing the play buttons or removing the faded look and what i did on my homepage with the gallery and everything is basically what i keep doing on all my art pages for each of my art style so i'm adding my digital illustrations my watercolors my bullet journals and of course my tattoo designs and creating all those different things is something that i really love but it is also a reason why sometimes i have such a style crisis but working on all those different mediums really made me stronger as an artist and more capable to answer any job request. Now back to my homepage, as you can see I changed some things up, I made the background white and I moved my name on the left and on the right I have all my pages with all my styles so I removed the sub pages since I really didn't like the look of them and because this is my art portfolio I think it would be nice to just showcase immediately all the styles I can do now all artists we have social medias so wix also has features with ready icons so you can add them and have a straightforward link that will get your visitors and viewers on your social media of course you can resize it make it bigger or smaller or even remove all those icons that you don't use for me it was pretty simple and straightforward since i only use my youtube channel and instagram account now going back to my about me page which i named hey you can see wix also has some ready templates of boxes and structures with text and image that will save you a lot of time from trying to add each element on its own i went with this strip of color that included some title text and an image this is the page where i will actually write a little bit more about me and my art experience and also add a cute self portrait you can also see all the extra frames it has for you to change up the look of your image even though i went with a really classic shape and if you look around even more on your add options you can see shapes and other type of boxes you can drag and drop one more very useful thing i found out about wix is that it lets you add app and by apps i mean you can search on different things like for me i needed a way to add my etsy shop so after searching etsy shop i had the option to create a page dedicated to my etsy shop and showcase my products also on my 
art portfolio page. So now my Etsy shop is just a click away. Last but not least, I'm gonna share with you one of the most important things about Wix. To make your site unique and beautiful, the only option you need is to be able to add and upload your art. And when I say your art, I don't mean your final paintings and your client illustrations, but all that secondary graphics that will make your site stand out. So I took out my graphic tablet and started creating all those secondary graphics and elements that will transfer a bit, a bit of my soul on my website. Since I don't have a logo right now, I just, I wrote down my name with my own handwriting, saved everything as transparent being so I can add them with no background on my website, made some really cute and easy illustrations with flowers or gold metallic lines and moon and the stars and everything that you know you see me create all the time and add in my art pieces and then I went back and uploaded everything and just look what a huge difference these little touches made especially on the hay page those gold shapes and lines I mean uh, look at them they are so so beautiful oh and one of my favorite editing options is the fact that you can click on the right they have an option where you can actually choose an element and then send it back or front so by clicking it i could move my lines on the back of my photo so they are not on the way of my face or on the text which is pretty cool added a little sparkle on my edges up too and after playing around a bit more Finally, my art portfolio was ready. Harder and harder to focus. We just ran so it's harder to own it. So if it helps ya, yeah, I'm here with ya. Yeah. Baby, don't you cry no more. And this was the video, I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it useful and also, you know, got some tips and tricks on how to create your own art portfolio with wigs and yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button since it helps so, so much. And you can always find me on my Instagram account at Kaliopoliviaki and share your art with me. I love to chat and get to know you. And yeah, till next time, have a super duper day. Bye!